Hey everyone, so I'm feeling a little awkward right now because I feel like I should hand the mic over to this young lady right here. Yeah, no, so <laughs> this is Gia Peppers, a journalist, on-air host. You might recognize her from being courtside with the Washington Wizards, interviewing your favorite stars for a laundry list of publications. Hi, Gia. Hey, girl. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course. So I want to start with a time where you were working in advertising. Yeah. What was your outlook like for the career that you desired at that very point? Mm, my outlook mm -hmm. then. Yes. So when I started in advertising, I knew for a fact that I wasn't going to be there for a long time. Mm. I was like, all right, I'm going to do this real quick, stack some paper, because right. I'm going to have to eventually get out of this. And I would just stay at my job until 10 o'clock at night Ooh. working on other, working on my stuff. You know oh, what I'm saying? Like, right. I wouldn't tell y'all to do that. But I would because they have Wi-Fi. It was real fast you know, air conditioning, and you could use vouchers to go home. So I was mm. like, oh, well, what you mean? Right. My laptop works. I'm going to work on my own things. And I started to create a vision for myself and what I wanted to do, what I wanted my brand to be like, mm. and then just moved from there. I started freelancing. SOBs happened to be down the street, literally two blocks away Dope. from where I started working as a as a uh, AAE is what they call it, an advertising assistant. Um, when you, and I worked on the BMW account, which is interesting because now I'm in the BMW building. You see how many things are And now you're just a hustler. Like you have, what, four jobs you tweeted? Four. You sure it's not five or six? No, it's not. Okay. I can't take no more. <laughs> so how are you staying motivated, but most importantly, how are you staying grounded? Oh, it's easy to stay grounded when you're tired. Mm. And, then, and then it's still easy because I'm still freelancing. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, it's very easy because I still don't have health insurance. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's very real. Like, people think it's very glamorous, and it's not. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what people want, people need to understand. Um, I'm tired most of my life, which is why I live with Starbucks. Mm. The app is amazing. Get it. Um, and I just feel like if God gives it to you, if there's a will, there's a way. So, a if he I gives it to you, you're supposed to do it. But describe to me a low that you faced and how you beat it. Ooh, child. Oof. Okay, so um, last year, my contract with Essence ended, and I wasn't, like, I thought it was going to be extended. Da -da -da -da. Like, oh, yeah, this is freelancing, but I'm me, and, like, I can do this. Mm -hmm. And I honestly felt like I belonged at Essence. Like, it was amazing. And I still work there. Like, it's not, right. like, it's no black blood. It's nothing crazy. It's just, like when money runs out when the no budget business. is done the budget right. is done um and so i had gone from three jobs to one job mm -hmm. one part-time job and it was like oh this is what they talk about when they're talking about you ain't got no money uh, oh and so my mom is a doctor mm -hmm. um and she's like what do you mean you don't have to <laughs> what are you talking about you don't have a nine to five like where's what? your office what are right. you doing and i'm like mom it's the game my dad is a journalist mm -hmm. and she and he understands he's like look my dad was at the associated press for no npr for 20 20 years mm. before he they had a layoff there and right. they let him go and so my dad was like not really out of work but working with smaller radio stations in dc for about two years mm. and then he got with the associated press and he's been there for several years nice. but he understands that there will be lulls in your career and that that's how that works. So for me, it was a very low, low time because I was used to having several things to do at every time. Right. And now I only had one thing to do, which was working with Ebro. Mm. And Ebro really, really like, I could never, ever, 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 I don't care who says I'm bad, 50 Cent, G, whatever, ever <laughs> will say something bad about Ebro because he looked out so much and like snapped me out of everything. He was mm. like, how, how about this? How about you still have a whole site to run? How about huh. that? How about you concentrate on this? Don't give up. Don't right. be dumb. Something will come. And he's just like, you, you've gone far. Like, don't don't let the little things hinder you. But there were days where I didn't get out of bed. There were days where I was like, because I'm such a girl that is so invested in my career that I'm like, what do you mean I don't have 12 things to do today? So when I only have one thing to do, it well, bothered me to no end. And then it was like a self-esteem thing. Like, right. when you're in the on-air talent side of things, it's mm -hmm. like, casting for being an actress they're like mm, we don't like you we think you're great but you look so young we think you're amazing but no and it's just like why are you telling me you think I'm amazing and you're not working with me so I had to learn that my self-esteem doesn't do, shouldn't be based on what someone else thinks of me it doesn't matter if it's a friend a person a person on Twitter like it doesn't matter if it's a casting director what I believe is so what, what I have some to always sit on. qualities right. as a woman you feel 
we possess that are strengths, but we're told they're actually weaknesses. Oof. Yeah. Mm. Well, um, our, our beauty is obviously a big thing. Hello. That's why our girls be so beat. <laughs> but, and that's so crazy. There was a study that came out the other day that said, like, men don't hire women that don't wear makeup. Right. What? Crazy. They want to see the highlights. They want to see the, they want to see the beat. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I didn't know you cared so much about my beat. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, women have power because we multitask naturally mm. and we naturally care about things that people might not even remember to think about our detail we're detail oriented we care about things overall we care about the big picture and we right. also will also will figure it out like men will be like dang that's crazy and i said that <sighs> and let someone let me let me talk to my homeboy whatever whatever <laughs> But I think women have the ability to accomplish anything they put their mind to because we are smart mm. and we go grow a little faster than men. Mm -hmm. So we know things first. Um, and I think we make great leaders and we make great inspirers. We're good at nurturing whatever a vision, a person, whatever it may be, we're good at nurturing. But again, the multitasking comes and then you have to just make sure that everybody's good. I know mothers I always so look at mothers amazing, like y'all are super that we women. have our ability to meet every task meet the moment what's needed from us and then execute whatever that is and I think that's so amazing and it's something that we don't celebrate enough right. um but I think well actually to celebrate we always celebrate in working women like black or men we, we celebrate in each other but I do think it's something that we actually it's a power that we need to harness like right. yeah I'll be there I'm gonna be at the meeting or I'm gonna call in right and I'm still kill it anything else you need from me Nope. Cool. I'm out. Done. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Just be, just be very much about, and then also being ourselves is a really big thing. Mm. Like everyone is always trying to fit in with somebody. And I'm like, you don't really act like that. You didn't act like, like that last year. You're back and forth between DC most of the time. You have yeah. all these jobs working around the clock. So Gia, how are you adding in dating? Like what's, what's dating? What is this? Huh? What you coming for? Mm -hmm. Coming, trying to come from my life right now. Um, so I took like a year off of dating because of a situation oh, okay. that happened okay. and I learned a lot about myself mm -hmm. self esteem wise just being smart about who I decide to give that much energy to right. and especially we live in a generation of F boys so you have to be very careful <sighs> about dedicating your time, time to. to because even because they might try to tell you like yeah we could like just because I hang with her oh, like uh -huh. don't mean nothing uh -huh. no, no, no 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 so, and I, I was raised in a traditional, like, my dad is, like, Superman. I always tell her every day, like, thank you for staying, because I know mom can be crazy in the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so at the end of the day, um, dating is a new thing for me. Mm. I'm just starting to get back into the dating scene. Mm. It's scary, because I'm like, I don't know y'all. Right. And especially in New York, I just feel like I watch a lot of, I watch a lot of Law and Order SVU from Stop Maryland, it. and I just yeah. feel like everyone's either a catfish as of Girl. Eve, or <laughs> I'm gonna have to call Olivia Benson at the end of the day. Like, I'm just very careful. I'm like, do I know a friend of yours? Where do you work? Can I have your driver's license? So I'm social just, <laughs> social. no, 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 we don't need to do that. Okay. But I, I do Google, like I'm just, but I've also never been on a date with a guy from New York that I didn't know through somebody else. Okay. So like I said, I'm still getting my feet wet. I make time when there's time mm -hmm. and you have to be understanding. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to understand that what I'm doing is bigger than me. Mm. And you also under, have to understand that if I like you, I like you. And if I don't respond to your text, I don't like you. Burn? So the read receipts are on? Nope. <laughs> I don't do that. But like, if I don't respond in like two weeks, you just you can take that. We take notes. Take notes. <laughs> <laughs> but I there's actually not one person I haven't responded to within two weeks. But there are a few, a few people where I'm like, nah, not available. No, I can't do it. So it's just like I'm. I'm just learning to figure out who's my, who's with me, mm. and and who I get, and who gets me. Mm. And it might not always be the good thing, but I love meeting people. Like that's what I do. I get to know people's stories. So right. I try not to interview people on dates. I'm like, so that's so. Tell hard. me about your last relationship. <laughs> but it is very much an interview. So right. it's cool. It's awesome. And I and dating is is weird for me again because I'm just getting to the spot where I'm like, oh this is what people do like this is what they mean in all those songs okay <laughs> but I'm just also making sure that I keep my integrity mm. intact because I still will not be one of anything right so notes yeah available well, yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you so <laughs> much tell the people at home where they can find you oh at Gia Peppers on any everything um 
First of all, I just started Periscope. My first Periscope was yesterday. It was crazy. I have no idea what these people are doing here. It's so much, guys. Really, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, everything, Instagram, Periscope, everything, Snapchat. And, and whatever's coming next. Stop. You guys don't need to know what I'm doing that much, but anyway, <laughs> if you care, at Gia Peppers, um, keep up with the BT Breaks, bt.com backslash breaks. Um, come to some Wizards games. Shout me out when you're there. Um, Check out Talk About It on BlameEbro.com. Always, always subscribe to Blame Ebro. Shout out to Ebro. You might as well follow him. Ebro in the morning, high <laughs> night seven. Um, and my last thing. Oh, and then Essence Fest. Come to Essence Fest. We're going to be there. We're going to have a good time. Yes, we are. Yeah. I'm going to be there. Ah. I'm so proud of you, Allie. Thank Keep you. Keep doing it. Don't give up, even though it's crazy and you might not have health insurance. <sighs> well, that's <laughs> <laughs> it's Allie, and I'm signing off. <laughs>